Hello everyone, we are at the second India Auto Show and today we have with us Mr. Vijesh and his team from Charge and Go. Hi Vijesh, how are you? I'm Mr. Sobha, how are you? I'm doing good, thanks. Yeah. So uh, Vijesh, before we start with the interview, uh, I'd like you to introduce your team to every uh, one of our viewers. Hi. Hi, good afternoon everybody. This is Vijesh here. We, the idea of Charge and Go was uh, something that we had been thinking about for more than a couple of years you know before uh, when we heard about the EV revolution so me along with uh, my team here Mr. Adnan, uh, Mr. Abdul Wahab and Mr. Kabir we have been working on this for over two years to bring this concept to the common man so now with Charge and Go what we are trying to do is we are planning to have charging stations all over India so that it will be affordable and to have an EV vehicle for everyone in the Indian market. Uh, excellent. Thanks for the introductions, uh, Vijesh. So, uh, like uh, for our uh, audience to better understand about Charge and Go, I have a few questions for you. Uh, so maybe you can help me answer those, and uh, from that, our audiences will get a better idea of how Charge and Go operates. Right. So uh, to start with, can you tell us uh, in brief about what is charge and go and what all uh, can someone expect from uh, uh, you know by visiting a charge and go station okay as the name suggests charge and go it's basically for charging of electric vehicles now the main concern which people ev owners face is lack of charging stations so what they can maximum run is like if you have a nexon ev they can maximum run up to 200 to 240 kilometers though the company claims even further but nobody takes that risk and goes beyond that what we are trying to make sure is people are able to use their EV as they use any other vehicle currently that they can move anywhere at, as they will so to do that we need to have charging stations come up you know as we have petrol stations right now so our concept is to bring that charging station to the market to the common man this is what we are working on Excellent, excellent Mr. Vijay. This is a lovely concept. Uh, can you tell us about the different features of Charge and & Go and what is your USP going to be? Okay, now uh, the thing is that when uh, unlike the petrol or diesel vehicles where you just spend five, uh, less than five minutes at each of the gas stations, here you would spend at least minimum half an hour to 45 minutes to, you know, for your car to be fully charged or at least 90% of charge. So we want to make sure the pers people who come there, they get, they utilize it half an hour. They cannot, you know, no, you, you, no, none of us will sit in a car for half an hour. Especially if you are with families and kids, uh, the kids will want to jump out. So what we are giving them, we are giving them a facility where the kids have a play area. The families can do a little bit of shopping like a say, supermarket. So we will have various shops over there like restaurants, supermarket, various kiosk shops. Now depending on the area, the location, now we are on a highway you know people would be driving for say three hours or four hours and they want to take some rest so we are introducing the fish spa concept mm -hmm. we would have some you know uh, foot massage we uh, yeah so as we were telling with the the uh, we are looking at having uh, for ladies we are going to have beauty products we'll also have a mobile uh, you know repair shop or recharge shops we can have a coffee shop because that's what most people 90% of the people would want to have a chai coffee and some snacks like a you know any any kinds of snack like so now we are in bombay i think vada pav would be a very popular option so depending on the place we would have uh, you know depending on what people's interests are what people would require we would have all these and the most important factor that we are going to have is clean and hygienic toilets because now we know there are you know, it's changing in India but we still like you know on the roads like uh, we don't have clean toilets and now with uh, corona and all these things setting in we have to make sure that you know people's everybody's hygiene level has gone up a notch so we want to make sure that people get that hygiene factor so and also we're gonna have a feeding room for the you know for the newborns and stuff and all so these are this is the main usp and like i say to all my clients that i meet up you know we want to give affordable luxury to the common man uh, thank you thank you so much Vijish. this is an excellent concept again uh so like you said 
दिस विल मेक द लाइफ ऑफ ई वी ओनर्स अलॉट सिंपलर द कंसर्नस टूडे दैट वी हैव द चार्जिंग टाइम इट टेक्स एंड यू नो वाइल ऑन अ लॉन्ग ड्राइव वेयर कैन पीपल वेट सो दिस इज द आंसर फॉर दैट एक्सलेंट ना कैन यू टेल मी वेयर इज चार्ज इन गो बेस्ड आउट ऑफ एंड लाइक वेयर ऑल डू यू हैव योर प्रेजेंस Okay, we have a registered office in Kerala. We also have our presence in uh, Bangalore. That is where we are going to be mostly operating out of. And currently, we have already tied up with uh, people in Mumbai, Chennai, Coimbatore, uh, in Ooty, Mangalore, Bangalore, and of course, almost the whole of Kerala. So the idea is to make sure that we have a chain of charging stations all over India. So it's not going to be. uh just limited to you know a certain area or something we want to make sure the person can drive his ev vehicle from kashmir to kanyakumari without the range anxiety coming into his mind this is the main idea about charge and go nice so uh you uh as you say you'll have presence all over india you intend to have presence all over india rather so uh as it stands today do you have any charge and go unit uh, already in some city or is there one being built somewhere uh, our first unit will be coming up in uh, guruvayur which is the temple city of kerala we have already uh, we are already finalizing terms with uh, a couple of stations in mumbai which is more, more most probably going to be on the mumbai pune highway we're going to have uh, connectivity from kerala to bangalore uh, we've got three stations on that route we will disclose these uh, location names as the mous and all the agreements are signed because it's already in process we are going to be there and all these stations are going to be franchisee based so anybody who wants to be a charge and go they can come and connect with us and be a part of franchisee now uh, people would think oh, when you are a franchisee like why would i have to connect with charge and go i can do the same thing myself we've got answers to you just need to connect with us and then find out what those answers are lovely this is a great model so now that you've mentioned about the franchisee model uh so say if someone wants to you know set up their own charge and go uh, station uh what are the minimum requirements for it and what kind of investment should they be looking at if you want uh, like what are the requirements now we need to have a land the person with the land by who owns a land or who can lease out a land in a particular area we can set up the charging stations now the thing is the land could vary from place to place now you are in the middle of a city like mumbai i cannot say that i need to have for so much of land whatever land is available we will because even we know the pa- ta- petrol stations that are over here so same way but the business model will not change every we will give the same accessibility and stuff to the people what they have and suppose now let's uh, that that's a city case that we will have to take it on a case to case basis now as we go towards outskirts or on the highways we are looking up anything between 30 cents to 50 cents which is half an acre less than that is what we need because people will be traveling you expect lot more cars we need more parking facility and more facilities for the people to come in so uh, the figures and all those things will vary depending on the facility which you know we can sit and discuss and l- let me tell you that any people who are connecting with us are going to do it 80% i'm sorry 20% cheaper than what they would do when they're doing it themselves now our facilities will have a lot fe- lot of good features like we are going to have at least 30 kilowatts of solar energy that will be utilized in our char- charging stations now we are able to do that ourselves because we are already into the solar business the other thing we all our stations are going to have an led screen which was going to generate revenue plus also promote all the activities that we have and all you know what uh, what is there in those each of these facilities so these things is something that a business model that we are already into we are having our own charges which are certified by the government so like uh, like coming back to what i said earlier we can do each of these stations 20% cheaper than anybody else doing it separately plus you become a part of the brand you become a part of a unit which is going to be there all over india that is the main thing for each of the franchises awesome so that's great so anybody who has uh, some land and is looking to get into the charging station business uh 
partnering with Charge and Go is the best solution out there. I can say that myself. And uh, so, uh, thanks for all that, Vijesh. Lastly, can you tell us about your future plans? So, how do you intend to, you know, progress in this? And uh, where do you see Charge and Go in the next, say, five years? Well, five years is only going to be the beginning of any of this uh, revolution that's going to come up. Like what, as the government of India has put it already, by 2025, 20, uh, at least 30% of the vehicles on road is going to be electric, electrified or EV vehicles. So which means we should have at least 30% of petrol stations converted as EV stations. But actually if you look at it, it's not even that because petrol stations you spend like less than 5 minutes. Here you're spending half an hour. So it is not even 30%. If 30% vehicles come in, we should have at least 50% of charging stations. We want to make sure that people get into the e-mobility revolution and uh, you know the it's actually the next you know, like the uh, to answer to your question where do we see ourselves in five years time we see ourselves going global that's amazing so thank you so much for answering all of those i'm sure that must have helped our audiences understand what charge and go is exactly about and what they can expect from it uh, what are the benefits that they'll get when you know stopping at a charge and go station it will definitely bring down the anxiety of you know uh, ev owners as you said so stay tuned and watch the video till end thank you welcome to the e mobility revolution introducing charge and go air pollution has been on the rise over the last few years and many major cities like delhi has seen the worst side of it the major factor contributing to this is the ever increasing use of internal combustion engine vehicles but now the times are changing with the arrival of electric vehicles Government of India has declared a target of having at least 30% of electric vehicles by 2030. To support and enhance e-mobility, we bring to you Charge & Go. Let us have a quick tour of the Charge & Go unit. Apart from the charging stations, the unit will have a full-fledged supermarket, a fine dining restaurant with various cuisine, a coffee shop with outdoor seating facility adjoining a children's play area. Besides the multiple other shops, we also have a star-rated washroom facility with mother care and feeding room. We are also introducing world-class sleeping pods for the budget travelers. Charge & Go offers a secure family environment containing prayer rooms with ample parking spaces. Major part of the unit will run on solar powered supply and we also provide LED screens for advertisements too.